good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to tonight's matchup. Fisher College will be taking on yes, your sir. Point Park Pioneers. We are in the final game of our play-in matches. Today, we take on Fisher College. After last, well, two weeks ago, I guess, we took on Clemson Yeah, we University. took a bye week. So yeah, yeah a bye week today. last week. Uh, so we apologize. You know, no content really put out there or anything Still like that. Still mad We're about <laughs> that game, though, but it's that okay. Was, we had okay. a tough matchup, of course, two weeks ago against Clemson. A very uh, close game, actually, to be honest. A very, very close game, very especially that third game with overtime. Very close matchup against Clemson. We take on Fisher College today. Um, and yeah, it's going to be our final game of plans before playoffs officially start. This will be our final one for that. Uh, Fisher College, one of the better teams, unfortunately, in this first bracket seed that we have. In our game. bracket, yeah. Um, they're the first seed in our three-team bracket it's us Clemson and Fisher Fisher is definitely going to be a tough opponent today but we're gonna beat him we're yeah, gonna yeah, try gonna say. we're, we're gonna, gonna try so um after last week's game I mean against Clemson what was uh, heartbreaker is the best way to describe yeah it. but I don't the think there I don't think it. there was a very like specific issue though when it came to our loss it was very back and forth and I mean Look, man, I don't want to be that guy, but <laughs> blew him out. Hurts, you know, <laughs> second game, like as if it was nothing. So I mean, like, I and I think it just came down. I just came down to the wire. Who wanted it more? To be honest, it was definitely one of the closer games that we've had to play. Yeah. I've seen in the like of the. I've only, of course, been here for like the two years now. But no, in, the time that, in the time that I've seen, that was definitely one of the closest games I've seen us ever play. Um, the last that, game that I saw that came down to the wire like that when it was a league game. Uh, we were going against a really, really good team, but we weren't able to continue continue the game because of our first mm. internet. But um, I forgot about uh, that one. Yeah, yep. last year's league uh, match. Yeah. That was a tough one. League will be coming in January, by the yep. way. For anybody Spring that semester. cared for League of Legends, uh, hopefully you do. Uh, we'll if probably... you care for League of Legends, or if you love me, <laughs> you know, you come out, I'm casting for that. So, I'll probably know. be joining you on the mic. Hey, for there that we go. One. So, there hey, go, we'll, we'll probably you know, be us. If you want to see us, man, you know, <laughs> you know, go ahead and come out. Show some love. But yeah, so uh, against Fisher today, the question mm -hmm. really for me going into this. Um, so there, there's a so the big thing right now is that Cipher is possibly going to be getting a buff here soon. Yeah. Uh, for anybody that doesn't That's gonna know, change the game. Cipher Cipher is going to be getting a minor buff here. Uh, some people are really excited for it. Other people think that's a little underwhelming. But Cipher will be getting a buff, which uh, Habibi's definitely going to be feeling. I mean, to have very that nice alt room, to have that alt range, and to have unlimited time to use that alt, I think that's I, I think that's very huge because now. Instead of hitting the ultimate instantly, they can hold onto the ultimate. So where it, when that moment comes where they absolutely you need that info for where the team is going to go, you can use that anytime. So I mean, I think it's a minor buff, but I think it's going to be a buff that's going to change how the character is going to be played all, just all around. Absolutely, so. we'll see how much Cipher gets really used. Unfortunately, it's an op that we don't really see often get picked. Uh, that's true. The only time we had seen it, and I had seen recently, only on Haven. When, no, only on Haven, and only Habibi Haven. was the what one that ended Haven? up picking it. Obviously, yeah. um, my question as well is is going to be today, um, what Clark is going to be running the most. We saw him use that's Viper, fair. Viper, and yep. Omen. Uh, in my opinion, I believe he ran better with Viper than what he did with Omen. Really? In those three games. In my opinion. Of course, Icebox wasn't just absolute smashing. Yeah. So that might have been also a reason as to why. But watching him play. I mean, I'd uh, like to see him on Brim, last week, to be honest. Uh, that is fair as well. I but didn't think he looked um didn't think he looked that strong when it came when it came to Omen. Maybe. I think it'll be yeah. interesting to see uh, what they go with the controller pick this time around. Mm. I think I think we're gonna keep seeing creep with the KO. Obviously, he Definitely. is just that been KO is a monster with that. I am curious as to see as well if Yoshi's gonna stick with the race set or if he's just gonna run with Jet like he did. I'm about to say yeah, match. they put him on Jet and he still was able to do good. But back to Clark though, I I really want to talk about this player because I feel like Clark played a very vital role in like in the game against Clemson. Mm. And when he was having a good game and he was hitting those shots all while also using utility, that played a very huge part when it came to having the 13-0 in that second game. Yeah. And then when it came to the third game, it kind of, I don't know, it kind of, that momentum kind of stopped with him. And that's when things just, that's, that's when things got down to the wire and got really hard. So, but I think if he has great timing and wins those gunfights alongside with his great usage of utility, then that's going to make him just bright, just very, just very good as a player. Yeah. So, I I think it'll be very I'm interesting. I, I'm excited to see how this game is rolling out. Yeah. I think that there's definitely the flaws that we saw from last game. I think they've tried 
very, very hard to yeah. try and get everything ironed out. Uh, during that bye week, they were they were grinding on grinding on grinding. Yeah, no, they were playing for literally stuff. every single day. I yeah. I mean, we've talked about it last stream where Creep mm. and Aaron or Yoshi are just always they're always. Well, it's a dangerous duo. It's it a it's dangerous just a dynamic duo. duo they are really. always here. It feels like always trying to get in time to play. Um, they are always always trying to get their butt in the room. Oh, and way. shout out to actually speaking of that, shout out to Aaron and Ryan because they do stream on Twitch. So if you ever want to. <laughs> You know, have, have a little the, bit of a plug-in, but, you know, yeah, if you ever want to <laughs> see their individual play uh, when the games are not going on on Saturdays, definitely go and show some love to them. Absolutely. They are they are a, an interesting duo to watch. Very, very good on the sticks. No, Personal really opinion, good. of course. <laughs> but um, yeah. it, they've definitely, this team as a whole, has definitely tried their hardest, I think, to get those kinks ironed out from that last game. Mm. Seeing those little flaws and little, little, little tidbits. They've watched a lot of game film, as we saw. They've done a lot of research yeah. on Fisher as well. We've seen... Um, I'm curious as to see as well. We might um, be playing Fracture. We might be. What I've heard, what I've heard, <laughs> we might be playing Fracture. I am not excited to see that game at all. I'm not even excited to cast for that that map. I have, I have no love for that map at all. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can speak for like the whole Valorant community. There's no love for that map. That is fair. But um, it, yeah, it'll be interesting though to see um, how the calls are going to be run as well. As we know, Creep running the IGL most likely. Yeah. We've also heard though, whenever we were talking with them, Yoshi does make some calls in game. He does he do does? that. He does do yeah. that every once in a while. And it'll be interesting to see, um, not really how they split the duties, but how often, uh, how often Yoshi, Yoshi can make pitches those in. Play. Exactly. Because yeah. um, mm -hmm. this team is very much, as we've talked with uh, Creep before, he says very much that this team is very, like, it's almost family-based, it feels like. like well, it's got, it always feels like these, like, seven, because you include... Um, in and Amona, who are both on the substitute lines. Yep. Uh, those seven are always, always, it feels like they're always going places together. Um, they're always they even, together, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> they like literally they were, just got back from they, getting food. Like, exactly, yeah. exactly. Like, they just got back from food. It feels like they're always in a group together. High spirits, it's always man, a nice high thing. spirits. It's, it's a great, like, tightly knit group. They're yeah. not going to get, like, they're not going to stab each other in the back by any means. They have a great mental. They have as well. a great mentality. I, I think it really does apply to how well they keep their hopes simp high. Because like creep always seems to be just trying to hype pe people up oh, all the time, and definitely. it's a beautiful thing to see because that's something that's very difficult to come across. It feels yeah. like, especially in like the comp scene where it's like yeah. always trying to keep people on their feet. Creep is always. It's always hard when you're like it. zero and eight or like zero and six, like it was against Clemson, yeah. and for just to like keep on playing and following that plan the way it's like okay it's zero and eight but let's disregard that let's play our game and play play the game at how we want to play and you see that for us out to where now it's like eight and eight going into overtime i mean that's just amazing like the vigor with that team is just yeah. it's insane it's been an interesting time as well to um see how they've just bounced back at times as well yeah. from those like those small deficits and like trying to hold on as well because we saw against clemson where they they unfortunately had those pistol rounds in that third match. Oh, in the pistol round. I can't wait round. to see the pistol <laughs> rounds, dude. We know that's oh the one thing. Gosh, we know that's the one bro. thing. That's the one thing that we are extremely good at. Oh we were my last gosh. year. We are this year. Yes. That's the one thing we seem to just thrive at. And unfortunately, on that third map, we lost that first set of pistol rounds. Yeah. It ended up costing us, I think, in the end, unfortunately. Mm. But at the same time, um, I'm curious to see how they'll do with that again will they come out firing again will they be able to win those first couple of rounds off the pistols mm. i think they sh will hopefully um i'm interested in fisher setup i am as I well um setup. we haven't seen anything personally uh from fisher just yeah. yet but it'll be interesting to we see were able how to they find their bots. no yeah so, so um there are two fisher teams in the bracket uh mm. this is their second team that we are facing um last time i checked they were the 13th seed i believe out of like the 200 that are in yep. this bracket so fisher, fisher is a good school when it comes to this esports yeah. squad we will, we, i will shout you out for that guys you Definitely. are a very good school for this whole thing yeah. but it'll be very interesting to see um how they come out against us mm. how we go up against them here um i know that uh, Creep has been very much, been very adamant about trying to find as much as he can on them. And when he's yeah. not doing that, he's trying to come up with his own strats. Um, I think I see that man. I mean, that man on literally has all yeah, the time. a notebook I, of plays. Like, that man, he is the epitome of what you want insane. from a dedicated player, I feel yeah. like, at times. That man is a lot always of trying. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. That man will think, <laughs> all, I don't remember the exact conversation, but all I remember is him always talking about how he's like, bro, every single conversation I hear, there's like someone will say some sort of word and it instantly my mind just goes straight to Valorant. Like someone will say, I'm like, mm -hmm. he has a fracture in his leg and the first thing I thought of was the map. And I'm like, <laughs> bro, listen, I get it. But dog, this is a little too much. Dude, that's, that's, <laughs> but that is the sole reason why 
he used to be ascendant like three weeks ago, but now he's a mortal one. Yeah. So we can he, see that improvement. He continues to try and improve his game. All these people do. Every yeah. single one of these people on this team, it always feels like they're always trying to get better at times. Mm. Uh, it feels like they're always, again, they're always grinding. Yeah. Always grinding this game one way or another. They will always try and do as much as they can. Um, the player so. that I want to see the most play, I already mentioned it before, but I want to see Clark. That is fair. I, I want to see. I think Clark is going gonna, gonna to play a vital role with those smokes. If he can get those smokes down at the right time, and he can use that utility, right? I think that will, that will just... He's kind of like, he's kind of like the gate, right? There's a gate. <laughs> right? I, may, I may be on a little rant here, but there's a gate. <laughs> he's the gatekeeper, and if he does the plays right, like I want him to personally, with the smokes going through, hitting those blinds with Omen, like correctly at the peaking at the right times, then those gates are gonna open, and that's where Aaron's gonna come into play. Drop like freaking forty <laughs> kills. That's when Creep is gonna come into play. Habibi's gonna come in with the flank because he's just insane with the yes. cipher. Like that's he is literally the gate to just letting all the other players do their thing. Yeah. So I'm excited. I'm I really excited. he is someone who I think he's like a he's like a shaking can of soda right now. Mm -hmm. He has the any any second now it feels like he's gonna explode out. Oh yeah. He's going to I'm waiting for that potential to just explode. I'm waiting he's for got it. it. He's definitely got it. We've seen him play, we definitely know it's mm -hmm. possible and I yes. think it definitely will occur. Um just gonna be a matter of when. Yeah. And the hope is soon obviously. I'm hoping um, this match, man. Well we're hoping. We're very <laughs> much hoping. Um at this point, we're just waiting on Fisher College, I believe, still to just join our lobby. We're yep. still, I think, still working through map soon. bands as well here. So we're going to keep talking with you all for a quick second, of course. Yeah, you guys have to stick with us and <laughs> deal with us, all right? So, yeah. Just, you uh, got to deal, gotta with, deal it, with us right? for a little bit longer. But um, um, We're going to be seeing point, a scent. Yeah. I think we're going to definitely see so. a scent. Um, I'm curious as to what Fisher's going to try and ban here. Um, I'm not sure how much they've looked in on us. We'll see if they try and ban. Possibly. See, the breeze or fracture, bro. Exactly. That's all I can tell. Because <laughs> Pearl... Well, I guess I wouldn't mind seeing Pearl. I mean, I still don't really like that map. But <laughs> that's Pearl is definitely sorry. one. Um, yeah, so we're, we'll keep you guys updated here in a moment. Uh, mm. We're still waiting on Fisher um, to join in the lobby. Um, we haven't gotten any updates just yet, but we're still mm. working on it. Either way, at this point, um, I am very curious to see, though, what the map pool will be like. I am also curious to see if we'll... What if they play Bind? I'm not no, sure. I mean... <laughs> it's a weird map, but, like... Look, I mean, we yeah. know that we know that Creep was talking about how he wanted to expand on their maps play. Because I remember him seeing him talking with Coach Chris. He mentioned yeah. how he wanted to try and work as much as possible on expanding their map total. Mm -hmm. They want to try and get as many games and un as many maps under their belt and try and what? get as much experience on them as possible to try and open up those settings for them because they don't want to right. you know be very limited down to those like certain maps and then might not even be the strongest on those yep. maps in comparison so they're trying to open it up got out um, those comfort maps exactly they have the comfort maps but they want to open it up more they want to try and get as many options to them as veil as available yeah. and as possible um just to see if they can get all that stuff so i'm curious to see if they might try and expand that today if they're still working on that mm -hmm. of course this is still I'd we love still to have a couple Harvard. of tournaments oh boy I, well, <laughs> I i love to see i know how people feel about the character and how he's he's not good right now and stuff but look man give it some time Give it the right player to play it right. I think Harper could and be And I think he'll be a good off. character. I think if you use him properly, it's definitely possible. Yes. He's not going to be as reliable as some of the new ops that are right now. That's right. But That's he's, right. he's definitely going to be somebody I think that we could see here That's soon. Okay. I want to see him. I, I think it's going to be a little bit, pro though. Play. I want to I've, I've seen – I have not seen him in pro play at all. No, he hasn't made of times. any of course, appearance. I was going to say, play. of course, I've only watched a couple of things recently. Yeah. Um but either way, he hasn't really been seen much at all. I think it's also because the pros are still trying to get used to him. Well, you know, definitely. So Everyone's still to, trying to figure him out. Yeah, they're trying to see if he's actually worth maybe using as much as possible, seeing the little tidbits and well, pieces especially since that can his try to slows it. teammates as well. I think that's definitely plays a part. Yeah, it probably plays a part. In it definitely probably used. does not help. And, I mean, the controllers are already a pretty good set when you have Omen and uh, right. everybody else yeah. that works between Viper, Omen, they also have that Military wild card. I can't remember now. I call it the me. Joker card, Astro. Yeah, Astro is definitely uh, an interesting one. It's somebody I haven't seen used in. It feels like a hot second now. It's just a, the Clemson one used um, Astro. But they did. They was that was the only rare. team I've seen use it in recent time. Yeah. Since I don't even remember when. In all honesty, it's just not an op that we've really seen get used that much it feels like mm. i don't know what the exact reasoning is it feels like half the time because she felt ever like someone that was always there yeah ever since like the little changes that they've made yeah. it just feels like 
Not we took that star away place. and then made her util a bit more expensive. And ever since, everything it's just been like, went ah, okay. <laughs> downhill, just stocks hit rock bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, um, I'll be. The other thing as well now that I want to talk about as well is um, with Yoshi obviously being the duelist here, will mm. we possibly, possibly see a second duelist or not? I don't second think it's likely, well. but. There's there's always an opportunity because I think um we would have a, a raid. Baby on duels? I I think that's the big thing there. So yeah. I'm thinking to myself I'm like Habibi can technically play that little that little flex role mm -hmm. you know yeah. it, Car I I think we can see Cursed possibly running into that um Sentinel role if not he can maybe run the controller as well so I think Habibi could definitely move over yeah. into that into that um uh, what do you call it that would have been bad especially with the Reina changes Reina's kind of kind of solo useful, yeah. insta locking Reinas are just praising God right now. Yeah, well, so it's, just... it's not that bad anymore. <laughs> it used to be terrible, it's... but now it's not that bad. But it's... then again, I didn't mind seeing him on Chamber as well. I thought his Chamber was very strong. Yeah, so. I think the Chamber plays were definitely good for him. It yeah. was interesting to see how um, he was able to incorporate both Cypher and Chamber into that three map set mm. and just how well he was able to run both at times. I think it still be definitely interesting because I think at this point, though, is that um, as they've mentioned before as a whole team they want to try and outsmart the opponents they're yeah. not trying to outgun them they're trying to outsmart them I would love coach to always see them coach them, always tries them. to talk that out and he always points that out he's like yeah. these are going to be teams that are very very solid as we mentioned fisher one of the top mm. like both their squads are top 15 in this yep. entire tournament of like 200 skulls so this is something something where you want to try and outsmart them see if you can try and out maneuver them see if you can just get those little behind the scene like behind the back plays that you could try yeah. and just out outsmart them and just in straight honesty so we'll, i want to mm. see if maybe that was why they also went with a cypher pick and against clemson was maybe to try and confuse them a little bit and it did work out for the most part unfortunately mm. it didn't didn't end up getting them the win in map one but it was still an interesting pick i personally so. just want to see him on chamber the entire game <laughs> like, i no, feel like fair. chamber i mean chamber is such a strong pick when it comes to I mean, he can fit in any comp because of his ultimate and yeah. because of having that cam, even though they nerfed it to where he only has one cam now, that cam is still amazing with that teleport to where basically if you mess up on a peak, you can still I get, mean, you can just get out of there. It's almost like a jet dash before yeah. the patch. So, I mean, he, he is a combination. He's just, he's just a good pick. He is a combination of what a jet player and a CSGO player are. And if you put them together, you basically. just have the opera from CSGO. Yeah. You just put with jets <laughs> like instant teleports back. And that's pretty much how it's it works. It's hard. It's a hard um, match to go against, especially with a chamber that knows what they're doing. Exactly. Yeah. And I, I, I know that um, listening in on Aaron and Creep, they've talked about it before as well. Like, Yay was the one that mainly brought um chamber into the main oh limelight. definitely oh and my god it's something they've always talked about as well and yeah. that's just somebody who i think anybody who's watched valorant if you know at least from the competitive side and if you know who yay is he is a <laughs> demon absolute <laughs> demon um big sag that cloud nine or not is it cloud nine yeah cloud nine's picking him up and optic won't be a part of the partnership program there for vct but uh, personal yeah, opinions it's fine Sorry. it's okay either way <laughs> personal vendettas that we are personal vendettas from. uh it's, it's fine though you know but um Either way, Chamber is definitely someone who... Uh, is there really even a way to nerf him? Is there a way to nerf him? I don't think there's a way to nerf I him. I think <laughs> unless you change... Unless you double his prices and everything. Yeah, unless, but even then, that ultimate. Yeah. Having that ultimate and having that free Sheriff for the pistol round. Always... I mean, it's just it's always going to be viable, yeah. unfortunately. That's just how... That's because of the, the way, the basic concept of the character is just so good. That's almost the same for characters like Sova for instance yeah so we always a solid pick that's kind of you can never like it's never not a benefit yeah when you pick sofa sofa is always going to be the again special special place in my heart <laughs> at least because i that was my first stop that i used in valorant whenever the game released back in uh, i always remember when the game released unfortunately now for the life of me i don't know why either way um sofa will always be that reliable pick obviously chamber is yeah. always going to be that reliable pick yep. no matter what unless you literally nerf him into the ground like you take away his alt somehow i wouldn't be surprised in a couple of years. i don't want to say a couple of years but like in a time i wouldn't be surprised if chamber maybe gets a rework at one point um just because how good he is it just cause, just because i you can nice go as well he nice is girl. i wouldn't be surprised though just because um Riot's going to look at it and go, man, his pick rate's through the roof. What can we do about that? What can we change? And I wouldn't be surprised if that happened eventually. Don't but um, at this point as well, because we saw what happened with Jet, how her abilities kind of got reworked a little yep. bit, and it definitely made her weaker. Um, so I think they might do something like that to Chamber. I don't know. I don't think that'll really. actually happen. Um, but it wouldn't surprise me at the same time. Um, it would be very interesting. Do you think we'll see Fade? 
I kind of hope so. I personally have a thing where I, I really enjoy Fade. I She's one of my favorite characters mm. in the game um, to use as an initiator. Um, personally, I think she's one of the better players to have on your team when it's not. If you don't have a Sova, she's definitely the pick to make. That Fade um, came through exactly, for Clemson. Exactly. Good lord. That Fade oh came gosh. through definitely for Clemson. And it's, and it's someone who intel is always necessary, obviously, in these yeah. games. Um, and Fade is definitely one of the best biggest prime points of that i feel like when it comes to tracking between a prowler right. her alt is even something where it's like very that important. ultimate the is... all is nice oh it's, my it's nasty to put it lightly so it's definitely someone i think i don't know if we're gonna run it i wouldn't be surprised if fisher ran it because mm. she's definitely a meta pick i think at this we're point we're definitely seeing fade and chamber yes. those are the two picks that we're going to see 100 see. regardless i'd be surprised if we don't see it yeah but I definitely wouldn't be surprised if we saw it. <laughs> I am curious to see is what Creep will run again. I'm curious if he might run the Breach again or not. I think he's definitely going to stick I with the KO. I want to see more of his KO, though. Yeah. Because he played KO, I believe he played KO in the first map. No, he played Breach map one, Breach and he map played one. KO map two and three. Mm. And he, he fried map two and three. Yeah. So map one was when he ran the Breach. I think it was something that they were trying to, like, he was trying to incorporate him a little bit more, try and give him a stretch of his legs. Um, Throw that man on, KO. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my KO. <laughs> um, it's, he, KO is obviously still a very good op. No Amazing what. pick. Amazing pick up all the time between his knife to his flash to even his ult. Like, everything just the really works out. The knife makes everything. The knife exactly. literally makes everything. So it's something where it's, I think it'll definitely, he's definitely going to run the KO, I think, at least one. At least once. Yeah. Um, especially if they go down 0 1 in that for if they lose map one, I think he's definitely gonna insta lock mm. that KO uh for map two. Of course that depends on the map pick, you know, yeah. maybe maybe definitely. might be a change. But uh either way, I think it'll be something where he's I definitely gonna see run this map KO. One. <laughs> I wanna see map one. Maybe map one pearl. Uh, it could be oh interesting. My gosh. If map one pearl would be Yeah, a, you're going down time. mid every time. <laughs> I doubt that they just go B. I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, go B. Try to try to peek that. I guess uh, like I have fun peeking have long, fun. dude. <laughs> have fun. Have a great time. It's a game that. of CS:GO where you go oh, B. Literally. <laughs> Listen, at so this, bad, dude. it's it's a time. Pearl is definitely a map that I. It's a good place to vacation if you're in game. If not, don't don't go pick near it. <laughs> you, have to, you have to pick your poison. Yeah. It's either pearl, breeze, or fracture. You yeah, know, and I don't. Which one you're gonna ban? I don't think it's gonna be. I think fracture is gonna get the ban just cause. I think at this point. So I don't know if breeze gets the pick here. I think it'll be interesting. I'd be surprised um, if we see a breeze. I would be game. too, but at the same time, um, I think it's it's not a map that I've really seen um, much discussion on. I mean, they've reworked it, the but time. it's still. Still breeze. Still breeze. It's still, <laughs> it's still breeze. Still, yeah, you just go in, hope you win the gunfight, and uh, go from there. Yeah, if your aim's not good that day, then unlucky, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's something we're, goes. we're gonna try and avoid that here. Mm. So um, we're still waiting on Fisher College right now. Uh, I believe they're still trying to join the lobbies as we speak. So we're still working on that. Mm. Um, so you're still stuck with us. Apologies on the Should delay be starting here for a moment. In a few, though. Um, so we are going to go bind. Bind is the pick. Bind. So bind is the pick for map. Oh, okay. So this will be interesting. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 All right. So let's go through these picks. Okay. Okay. So there could be, we could see a Sova. Yes. Or we could see a Sky pick. I would not mind seeing a Sky pick for bind because you have those birds, which works essentially as Sova when yeah. trying to get that info. Yeah. But I think info for bind is going to be a massive play. I think, I think, game. I think if is going to run the Cypher again here. I think it's gonna really? happen. I think it's gonna happen. I think it's oh, gonna happen. Just cause. Gonna go just cause. You I don't think the chamber. I think the cipher will be the number one here. Just we'll see, of course. But Sova's definitely gonna be a big pick here. I think that's gonna be the big thing. Sky, yeah. I would love to see a sky. I you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if we see Creeper on the sky, possibly. Creeper on the sky? I think I could see it. So here we go. Okay, okay, here we go. So yep. ah, so it is the chamber and yep. it's gonna be cursed as running fade. Oh, it is our brim! Oh, oh the brim. wow, we've never seen Clark's brim before. So this will be interesting. Um, but so now we have Yoshi's going to be running the raise. We have Brim Thank God Clark. for the Red Bull. Oh my God. <laughs> by the way, we're sponsored by Red Bull. By the way, sponsored by Red Bull. Thank you, Red Bull, for the sponsorship. Amazing drink. <laughs> so it will be a Sky will be running with Creep. Makes sense. We have Curse running Fade. That'll be an Cheer interesting up. setup. So we have another initiator there. Got Chamber. the Yoshi on raise, man. Let's go, man. So if for, it's going to be for Fisher. It's going to be Fade. It's pretty much going to be. Well, it is almost an identical lineup. The difference almost. is going to be is going to be a Viper. But in. Fisher is going Brim and Viper. I don't know how I feel about. It. I don't know how they're going to play that. Double controller. I definitely. I'm. I'm interested in seeing that for the double controllers. 
Uh, you do see it in, in pro play a lot, actually. They, they play double controllers sometimes. Yeah. I think the smokes but, are going to be very, very yeah. necessary. Even on this map, I feel like it's very necessary to have the smokes here. I mean, I mean you basically so. can. Once you get smoked off and bind, especially with B, where you're trying to go down garden, or if yes. you're trying to go out, of, go out of hookah, I mean, if it's smoked, then, I mean, you're a madman to jump <laughs> out there and just try to clear the angle, so... Yeah, it'll it'll be an interesting time here to see. So I'm I like I like the pick from Sky here for Creep as we hop into round one here that looks like the B push here from Point Park off the rip. He's and we are just dogging off the rip to try and clear the That makes sense. I think here Yoshi's gonna fall down on the first shots. They already buy in Curse is gonna trade him out. Curse will fall though to the race. Oh, and like now this is a full on flank. And they just made the flank from center. Now they're going over to the B side. He drops the smokes. Clark gets taken down. Four v one. Last man up is Creep already, and I I I didn't even oh have a second gracious. to respond to that. He's going to be sitting on A. Bomb is down near the B site towards attacker spawn. Fisher just, Fisher they just came out the, of nowhere with they the They just flank. made the full push already through center. That looked like something that we did on uh, map one against oh, no. Clemson, yep. where yep. they just made the full straight push through the middle of the, just a spawn. But of doing that round and, one when it's not even it's not even your save round, no. just first round off the rip. And they I mean, bought it instantly. Oh, Creep wow. knocks the first one. Night, night, race. See you later. Looking for the bird, trying to find a stun on somebody. He doesn't find anybody. But he has that frenzy. Frenzy now. That was what I was going to say. The Rays instantly bought in on the frenzy. Unfortunately, oh. another frenzy comes in. Viper drops him. So one it's the battle of frenzies, unfortunate. So Fisher comes up 1-0. They just instantly bought in on the gunfight. So I think Fisher does know here that they can possibly win these gunfights first and foremost. I don't think they're really as concerned about the util as much as they are about the gunfights now at this point. But then again, in Point Park's position, I mean... You're not gonna just anticipate a four man no absolutely four man not. flank off absolutely the rip. like not. that was just that was very weird. Yeah, they just they just ran through mid as if no one was there, which luckily no one was there. But uh, it's it's very surprising. I definitely would have liked to see sheriffs from Point Park. But... See here though, it's just gonna be a classic run. They're gonna have the bomb down here over towards A. It looks to be a little bit of a split looking towards A. Creep is gonna try to hit that. It's gonna be an bird. angle of a time. Looking for it. Looks to be a fight here towards mid. Habibi pushing forward here with Viper Yoshi. Viper with the one way. As it just looks to be just a bit of a log jam here at A. They're trying to decide. Do they maybe try and make that push? Definitely back not off, looking push towards that one way. It looks like three are heading over towards shower. It's going to be a, a triple of creep. Yoshi and I believe Habibi. Or excuse me. That's not Habibi. That's cursed. As they try and make a little push. The Viper brings up the wall. Trying to I'm surprised they're off. actually trying to push through this. To the Viper wall. At this point, it's a 3v2. Bomb is with Creep. So he's going to try and spec out towards the shower. He's going to find the Viper. They're going to wall it off and throw it on her acid, trying to make sure they don't get pushed through shower. Habibi trying to search every single corner, looking towards A. They're still going to try and commit to this. 43 to go. Fisher is low on Utah now, so maybe we could make a push here. There's nobody really peeking anything here either. Fisher's playing very patiently. The Viper has been the only person we've seen throw down anything it feels like i haven't really seen anything info. besides the breach throwing down smokes i haven't really seen anything as the curse throws down the fade you know they're in the back right corner 13 health now for creep and it gets taken down the shotgun with a pistol and, oh goodness okay uh dude, four bodies drop and just wow. like that what happened i just missed everything there the flashbang came in and just instantaneously came in. <laughs> you wake up and everybody's dead i uh, I don't know what happened there, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize, but just instantaneously, we just see shotguns in the feed and just down 2-0, go point park off the rip. I just look up for two seconds. I just see a flashbang. I, the flashbang comes out, and I just see one body left on the screen. I don't know what happened. But well, Speaking of bind now, I, uh, I don't think I like this map. <laughs> uh, Not very favorable. I don't, think, uh, I don't think I wanted this map for first game. So full buy-in here for point park. They're already buying in on the vandals. It looks to be a one-man push from Creep on the A side here. He's just trying to pull out, see if he can find some information. It looks to be mostly push up through mid. Clark gets dropped. Yoshi's going to find a kill and there, Fisher though. Just one 4v4. Mid. 4v4 again here. Yoshi finds another. Again, he's coming up with them kills. He gets traded out, though. BB in the smokes. He gets, Yoshi gets taken down. They're trying to find it. Curse will trade out. 2v2. Fisher just playing just so aggressive and so confident going through mid and just going through this flank as if... I don't know, as if this is just a regular ranked game. Kirsten and Habibi now over on that B side. They're going to try and get the plant. He's the chamber fade set up. He's going to look. He gets pushed instantly. The shotgun is just rolling through. Two on, or, oh, uh, goodness gracious. It's just the phase is just playing games, it feels like. The shotgun just coming in and just laying down fire. It's I, very unlucky to not, when you 
How did she get in so quickly? Like, that's my question at this point. She might have been there the whole time. I guess, because I... From the point of view that we saw, they didn't they didn't clear sight. They no. just planted. And, like, it seemed like something where they would have heard footsteps as well. Or even if the pack was used to try and get into sight, we would have heard something like that. Unfortunately, we can't hear in-game sounds, but I, I don't think the players would have missed something like that. But 3-0 now goes Fisher. And here we go with the full sheriffs. I'm trying to see a great now. round right now. I right love now. the full sheriff rounds. The full sheriff round is going to be interesting. Can we get some head taps? Head taps for days. Head taps. Head taps. Head taps. Head taps for days. Anybody at all? As we get the full push over to A here, we have the three men over going towards shower again. Yoshi drops down the bot, trying to find somebody here in a corner of any sort. Point Park has to be careful because Fisher is very confident when just running through mid. Creep finds one. He gets oh. the headshot on him. There's the head tap. We didn't get to see that one, unfortunately, but the head taps. Head taps for days. 4v5 now. Point Park has the man advantage. Downside right now, though, is the fact that they are kind of outgunned at the moment. And all oh, the just oh, the ace, the raise, or, the raise just ults him. Gets the three there off the one on all, and just again, Point Park just falls. The ult from the raise, she just instantly comes out of left field and just drops it on them. Fourth round already has her ult and just drops it right on the heads of Point Park down 4 0. Hey, but now we're seeing Point Park starting to wake up now with these rounds. They were able to, they brought that I think one back be a, a change closer. now. Unfortunately, just the raise just... I mean, it, she I mean, is just, so aggressive. 9-2 already. Aggressive. Already extremely aggressive. Just trying to do everything I can. Creep on the, <laughs> <smiley> <laughs> the good old smiley face. Gotta love that man's mental, man. He's just trying to stay positive. He's trying to stay positive. We mentioned it before. And all right, Creep throwing out the all off the rip. Sky's going to flash out from that B side. It's going to be a four-man push. Yoshi just trying to get a flank here. And it's just the bot finds... Habibi, so 4v5, and just oh, all, oh, the op the from the up. raise. <laughs> 11 kills already for Menace on Fisher. 3v5 now for Point Park. Creep down to 34 health at the moment with the Vandal. Trying not to peek at this point. Is now Curse gets taken down by the Sky. 5v2. Now just, we're in that same situation where we just have, Point Park just has to play for picks. At this point, it just feels like Fisher has just read every single play. Every single play, it feels like they've just been able to read it every time. This creep just checking every single angle he can, just trying not to get picked. He does there, unfortunately, by the breach. 1v5. Clark is the only one remaining. He's on A site with Bomb, though. Fisher has been very... Just throughout this entire game, Fisher has just been very aggressive. Yes, it feels like they just... Made push after push. Clark's going to get smoked here. He's going to find the race. She got way too aggressive there, but the fade's going to find him. It'll go down again. Point Park still looking for that first round win. It almost seems like that race is kind of playing around a little bit. Almost, and it's just been working out for them. They have just been going crazy. Timeout called for Point Park's side. And right now, Coach Chris, he's just trying to talk it out of him at this point. It's been something where that raise is just flying in. Feels like she's just yeah, flying every single corner. It's almost as if it's practice for the Riz, to be honest. It, it Menace, does feel Menace like is it. Making, making his presence known. I mean, <laughs> he is just flying around. I. It's not even like it's just the gunshots that he's getting as well. Oh, he, no. find a boom, he found the boom bot kill in the last round The utility here. uses the is utility amazing. has just been yeah. amazing for him. He had the two nade kills. He has an ult. He had the two kills with his ult as well. And he's just hitting heads. I yeah. mean, he has just been main menace. The, the point of the spear has been just attacking through this Point Park team. And unfortunately, that's just been we haven't really had a response back. And by the time we do, it's usually by that point, it's a 2v4, a yep. 3v1. And then you just have to play for picks. And exactly. Hope to mess up the eco somehow. But, I mean, Fisher just just going off of that momentum, playing very well, running through mid. Every, I mean, they've ran they through mid three times. It. Yeah, it and is. And traded each other out. And there's no real way, it seems like, for Point Park to be able to stop them at times. They've just been able to get that great push right Loving through three each menace. time. Brim, I mean, yes. five and zero. Oh. He has I yet mean, to die here at this point. As now, it's just been, it, it's been, a, it's been a tough round for Point Park. Down five zero oh, already to start here. They're just looking to respond here at this point. As it looks like they're going to be setting up on this A side, looking through mid here. They're going to see if they can try and possibly catch them. As we mentioned before, Fisher's just been pushing through mid. It feels like every single time. It doesn't look like they're going to here this time though. They're going to be a little more patient. Unfortunately, we don't have the point of view of Fisher here. We can only spectate on our side, but from the assumption here, it looks like they're going to be setting up on that A side again. The Viper already pulling up that wall. Primberg trying to get some picks to 
somehow see what they can do next. Curse throwing out the Prowler, just trying to find something. Somebody can't seem to there. Yoshi gets taken out by the Viper. I don't know where that was exactly. It looked like it was towards a shower. Boombot comes in from Menace. And 4v5 now here for Point Park. Creep trying to find a flash. Can't seem to get it there. He's going to pick up the gun from the his down teammate Yoshi. 5v4 once again here for Point Park. Now they'll rotate over towards B. They know their fade's over there on the B side. And just the AWP from the Rays finds Creep over in the A side again. And now Gotta it just get like, rid of that AWP. And now it just looks like Point Park's kind of just scattered right now throughout the map. Is Clark is going to pick up Bomb here. He's going to rotate, I think, over towards that B side. Habibi trying to hold long. His Curse just trying to keep that mid kept up as Clark. Now he's going to get pushed from this fade, I think. I believe he's running the Guardian if that's the right gun. I can't really tell yep, what the skin there is the it Guardian. is. Yeah, now Curse gets taken out by the Sky. He's going to try and get Bang. Oh, Ooh, a nice little tap there from Habibi. He gets taken, though. Clark is going to trade him out. 1v3. He's going to find the one in the window now. It's a 1v2. He's got 12 seconds to go. He's going to get the ult here. Raze is just trying to hit trick shots. The ult Raze takes him down. And now 6-0. Fisher is just frying, it feels like, right now. I mean, Raze is... Pat that and try to do a 360 like I it was mean, uh, yeah. it, Black Ops 2. It, it feels <laughs> I hope uh, BO2 with the I, I hope it's not I, karma I, and uh, Fisher can keep on keep on playing well yeah. when it comes to the defender side when we switch. MW3 intervention style of thing is now 6-0. Menace 12 and 3. Having a phenomenal game right now. I mean the three alts now for Fisher. All four are set up for point park though. So and that could be a see, big thing here. The eco Four point park. They have yet to bounce back with this eco. Yeah, and it's it's a, been it's pistol rounds, bulldog rounds for I think Clark's like almost spot four one rounds in a row now. And now it just gets taken down. Habibi on that B side. The fade pushed him long. Was able to find him here. Fisher knows that point park is broke right now, so they're just able to play aggressive. Clark gets hit with the boom by. He's down to seven health now. The prowler tries to push him. Now here comes the full push. It seems like Clark was on his own. He wasn't able to defend himself almost. Yoshi's gonna get peeked by the fade. He gets put out. He's gonna try and retreat. The menace just again with the op, and now it's a five v one and taken down again. Fisher's just. I mean, Fisher just with a full They're just rush. playing every single angle. It feels like they are just collapsing in on this Point Park team. They get that first pick and they just collapse in like it literally, like this tip of the spear, just collapses in on Point Park and now down 7-0. Oh. Fisher smart. They know that Point Park's eco is just absolutely trashed right now. I mean, as you can see, barely, Point Park was barely able to full buy and I tell you right now, Fisher is definitely not going to do that rush play now since... No. Point Park is able to full by. And they know that's probably going to be coming here. It's now another A setup for Point Park. Is Clark's going to drop some smokes? I personally think that Point Park is giving them a little bit too much space, side. but. Well, Creep finds there. There goes there the off go. now. And now here comes Yoshi with his ult. He's going to try and find something. He's going to try and drop it here. Skies takes out Creep. Curse tries to tray him out. Now 4v3. Yoshi and here we finds go. another. 4v2. Here we go. The bomb gets planted and down. This is the play that we need. And BB finds him. Now the only one left is the Sky for Fisher. 4v1, bomb is planted on A. And Yoshi finds him. And now there's the hype. We can hear Creep now here there from we all go. the way in Let's the back of the room. It. He's feeling it. Feeling a little bit better. You needed that round win. You got it. Now here we go. 7-1 to one your score. This could be the change. They can make this. Definitely love to see a 5-7 at absolutely. the end of the zone. I would <laughs> love to see it. 5-7 or 9-3 curse. It, absolutely. I would love to see it. Point. Seven to one the score. Only one was taken down from Point Park in that round, which was something that they desperately needed. Thankfully, it goes out their way. And now they have guns, and the they eco is looking eco. fantastic. It's a little bit better now. They were able to pull that through. So now it looks to be a B-side push here for Point Park. Creep is just pushing right in. Yoshi oh takes my out gracious, oh! Yoshi. The Alaskan Assassin, dear sir, finds two 5v3. Oh, my gosh. The Alaskan I like that. <laughs> I like that. The Alaskan Assassin. Oh, my gosh. Now they're just going to make this full push into B here. Yoshi's just going to keep pushing forward. He's going to try and be that tip of the spear now. Menace, you tried it. Now Yoshi's saying, I can do it too. Curse is going to get taken down by Menace, though. The shotgun coming back into play. Bomb is planted on B, 4v3. Shots are just coming in through there. Yoshi, Yoshi finds another. in spawn. And now it's a 4v2. Three well, set up here. And here comes the raise. Yoshi finds him. And his Habibi finds the other. Now we go back to back. And right, there we and go. It looks There's like creep. They He's awaken the beast. It. They awaken Yoshi the beast. It's <laughs> over. They weren't going to go down quietly. This team was not going to go down quietly. There's way too it's many that vibes. that bigger that we were room. talking about exactly. before the game started. It doesn't matter what the score is 
on the board. Point Park is going to play it out, and they're going to play their game regardless. They are going to try and put in as much effort. They are going to fight until they can't fight anymore. Yoshi, back-to-back -back rounds, just finding heads, just popping them left and right. I like to see Menace do that 360 no scope now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you know, that might be a No, that's, that's valid, that's valid. You know. Now here we well, go gosh, just for Point Park, man. I don't <laughs> like seeing that, man. <laughs> Creep's going to come out with a wolf now. He's going to try and see if he can find some intel over towards A. He knows at least there's a Viper over there on that site. He sees the setup. They're going to rotate over here towards B. Yoshi trying to pick it again. Sees the smokes by the Fisher brim. The deep smoke. I was going to say, now here they come. They're going to be trying. Yoshi finds another. Menace goes down again. That's a big part now here as the smokes come down. I'm not sure which brim dropped down. I don't know if that would have been... It's the fight to graze right now. Clark finds him, and there we go. 5v3. There goes the sky. And now they're going with a full setup at B again. They're just pushing right in. Going to get that plant down instantly from Clark. Clark playing very strong right now, getting that pick. Needed that one. Here comes the ult now from Fade on Fisher. Seemed like sure that ultimate didn't anybody. cover that entire site. Seemed like Curse is going <laughs> to bounce Gosh, back with his own. the counter ult. Was, <laughs> the counter ult instantaneously. So it did find Curse there with his Prowler. He's going to drop his own Prowler. It's just trade for trade. Here comes Viper. He drops them both. The, unfortunately, Habibi and Curse go down. 3v2. Clark with the lineup. He tries to find it. Yoshi drops two. What he gets traded out. Lineup. Does he get the set, though? Bomb is down. The Molly's down. Does he have the time? Does Brim have it? We'll see. I don't. We don't have the audio cue. We're not sure. I think he might have it. Unfortunately, I believe the Brim has it. I think it, the Brim does have it. He does. Unfortunately, three seconds there. It was a good lineup from Clark. Just not sure who was able to drop them there. Yoshi was able to find two before he got dropped as well. Clark trying to hit the head. I believe that that was the Viper. He I think Clark could have held on to that lineup a bit more when Maybe Yoshi. Yoshi swinged out, gets two picks, but the Brim. Fisher's brim was not on, wasn't on the bomb yet. No, not yet. Could have definitely think, waited a little bit. I think it was a call from one of his teammates who told him to let that loose. I'm not sure, of course, entirely, but now eight to two years score, two more rounds here for the attacking side for Point Park. They'll look to see if they can maybe bounce back. Can we get that nine three curse, maybe? Maybe. maybe I maybe, love maybe, to maybe. see it. I love maybe. to see it. <laughs> so here comes the setup. Oh, and just instantly. I mean, just the swing, just the confidence. It's not even no use of utility from Fisher. No anything. They, they swing this as if I'm playing in my ranked games. Like, <laughs> and they just win the fight. This is just... 4v5 now. Yoshi is trying to be the tip of that spear. Unfortunately, breaks at the wall known as Brim. It's now a bit of a spread set here for Point Park. A baby trying to check that long side of B once again. But now we're in the same situation where now all the breaks are pressed. Point Park is kind of moving in slow motion, trying to find a pick. But if they play like this, Fisher does it every time. So they're like, okay, they don't know what to do. So we're going to rush them and just see what kind of picks that we can get. Creep one point off from his all. He might be trying to find a pick here just to see if he can grab that. Cursed is over towards that A side still. A very, very slow push to be here from Point Park. And just instantly, just a, what a wide swing again. Just He's able to find Clark. Sky just able to turn that corner and just instantly lay it out. Menace finds Curse. Creep finding one there. Habibi gets dropped. Curse is by himself. Curse, excuse me, Creep gets by himself. He's able to find his ult though as he drops two. Trying to just stay alive. Oh, try that again, Menace. Let's see what happens there. Through 1v2 was, uh... now. He tried to come in with the knife. And that one's just an ego chow if I've ever seen it. Menace definitely, um. He's just playing games, it feels like. Yeah, Creep definitely just, just doing what I he mean, can he's definitely here. having fun. I respect that. 1v2. The Viper trying to peek him. One second or six seconds left here. No Creep time not going to have time to get the bomb down. He's just trying to fight with his Viper. Unfortunately, gets taken down. 9v2. He does have a smile on his face. He's he he a little bit of a 1v1, unfortunately. <laughs> a little bit of a 1v1. He couldn't pull it through. Here we go into this Nine last two. round. Now the score. It's going to probably be a full buy for both sides, obviously, here. We'll see what Fisher does. I wouldn't be surprised if they go with another just full on. They might just push through here right off the rip. I would not be surprised here. Menace now 15 and 7. They're Rex Demon Gator. I'm not even sure which name to call you off of that one. We'll go with the we'll full We'll call name. him Gator. Yeah, we'll just I call him we'll Gator. Call him Gator. 10 and 3 now. 9 to 2, your score. It looks to be an A setup here. Creep trying to flash out in showers. Can't seem to find it there. Yoshi, full aggression, trying to push in through showers. Looking Yoshi for does anything have the here. The Viper trying to just clog up that hallway. Here comes the dog from Creep. He finds something. The alt here from Yoshi. Trying to find anybody, anything at all. Can't find it there. He's in the corner just outside of that 
wall there from Viper. It looks like all these sides are going to be trying to make a push here as Point Park just aggressively trying to get it. Now BB knows there's one in Hall. Here comes the plant. Yoshi finds one. Yoshi finds another. He gets taken out as the alt drops. Nothing comes down. Cursed with the Guardian. He's trying to find something. 3v2 now. Habibi and Clark. They have the numbers. They can play time. Oh, they cannot the play time. The bomb didn't get put down. I didn't realize planted. the bomb was planted. I the bomb was planted. I thought so as well. It oh. looked like it got all the way down. Creep does find him though. So now it's all remaining left. Because they know the Viper's left there now. 9-3 now. It's Creep. He's 9-3 curse. Let's get it, boys. Come on, boys. 9-3 curse. Let's get it, boys. <laughs> Creep trying to get a little loud, trying to get his teammates hyped again. Always trying to stay positive. Point Always. Point is bouncing Always. back, man. Bouncing back. I think, I think mainly that reason on why Fisher um, was able to really flourish in this half was Eco. Absolutely. I mean, of course. Those they're, middle they're rounds great. were 100% yeah. on that part. They're I mean. great with gunfights and stuff, but I think mainly reason, I mean, if we have if we have full buy, like if Point Park was able to full buy as much as Fisher was, I think we definitely would have saw either yes. a 5-7 or maybe like a 4-8. Yeah. I think it was definitely, it plays a big part in it. I mean, they were just, again, full buy, very full strong buy, Nico. full buy from it. As BB running the shotgun here to start off. That's interesting. Definitely. Okay, so three setup at A here, two on the B side. Is Here comes the setup. Curse throwing out, trying to find something here. Creep trying to check that long already with his classic. He's able to pick up the alt point. My opinion. Oh, and there's just the grenade the there from Menace. The utility from Menace. finds Cursed. 4v5. Over on that A side now, Yoshi just trying to find it. He was looking through showers. He's going to try and rotate over to the other side. And oh, now it looks like they're, the, oh, the they're going through the B side now. You can see it here is now a trade out as Creep gets taken down. Habibi's able to find one and just, whoa, they found Habibi through the walls. I don't even know if they knew he was hitting there exactly, but they hit him nonetheless. Now 2v4. Clark, versus, Clark and Yoshi trying to keep it here. And there you go, Clark. He finds the sky. On the corner, he saw a little bit of a shoulder, was able to drop him. So now 2v3, bomb is planted on B. Both on the back side of B now. Clark with 54 health, no shields to his name. As Yoshi's able to find one, now 2v2. Yoshi full health. And Clark finds another, 2v1. Can he find it? He oh will! Oh my gracious! And Creep just getting that hype underneath him. As Yoshi. I said, man, I like seeing Clark. I like these plays, <laughs> man. Clark, Clark is making those plays. Clark quietly trying to get the gunny rolling. He finds them there. Yoshi able to find the final kill, and that is another. And Yoshi good played start. so calm and so patient, as if he just, he just knew. He just knew. He just knew which angle they were going for. I was just about to say, okay, Viper's playing lineups. They need to push them. Viper swings out as if Yoshi just was like, hey, can you swing out for me and die? <laughs> like, this, this. can you get out on the swing, please? Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. So now. Four to nine, your score. Point Park wins that first pistol round. That was something we talked about at the beginning here. The pistol rounds is something that Point Park have been exceptionally good at. They weren't able to get them in the start of this game, but they're already off to a good start here. Now we have so. the full buy. We have two Bulldogs, one Judge, and two Spectres with full Here comes shields. Yoshi, full push here. He gets flashed. He's trying to find it. Unfortunately, Menace, all oh, the Stinger. That buff has really worked out for the Stinger, and he's able to find another. He picks up Yoshi's SMG and is able to dome Clark from the wall bang, I guess. There's a full push here from A by Fisher. Bomb, bomb gets planted, Curse site. gets traded out. Now it's a 2v4. Menace has three now in the round. Habibi trying to rotate over as well. Habibi and Clark, the last remaining here. 4v2 once again. Menace tries to no get that problem. wide swing, a very wide swing here. And Menace just trying to find his head. He can't get it there. 98 health now. Just still, just trying to peek him. Just still trying to get the head. Finally there, Creep finds him. He's able to get him to shut down. So 3v2. But Menace Habibi, wasted a Habibi lot finds of time. Shotgun, 2v2. Menace was able to get the time wasted. So it's still a 2v2. Fade trying to drop it. And, and now it just looks to be that the bomb is lost, unfortunately. So Creep now just trying to play for buy. 2v2. Gets his teammate healed up. Definitely don't want to be in that kind of situation where it's, I mean, the Rays just buying time. Just yes. buying constant time for them. You, I mean, you have to either... Peek it, hopefully you hit the shot while he's moving, or rush him. And unfortunately, Creep was able to find the pick, but at that point, it was just a little too late in the round to try and get it. It was a good it was a good attempt. He tried to get the running head. He just couldn't find it, unfortunately. So now, trying to save in on this one for Point Park. They're trying to save the Econ. Sticking with the bullpup here with the double shotguns as well. This is an interesting setup. Now, 10 to 4, your score. You can do things like that in Bunch. <laughs> You're not wrong. Two on B site for Point Park, three on A. 
Yoshi again trying to make the push through showers. He's going to doink him and then find the Viper. 4v5. Oh boy, here oh, comes the raise. raise. How did the raise get through so easily? I'm not sure. But now we have the full over on A. Now it's a 4v3. Two drop for Point Park. Curse gets taken down with Yoshi. And now Clark gets taken down by the shotgun of Sky. So now a 2v4. And again, the bomb plan on A. Creep, once again on the upside. He's able to find it with the Vandal. Now 2v3. Fakes the dog. I think he's trying to see if he can get someone to peek. That menace has been extremely aggressive. He's trying to find somebody, anything at this point. It's just he gets the flank from Fade and all oh, they're shooting bodies now as Defenis just fires away in showers. Goodness. And now it's 11 to 4 your score. Fisher's looking very strong on this map. Fisher has just been confident this entire map. It feels like there has been a moment where. They the have not been, been able zone. to just, yeah, it's just been, have been aggression, aggression, aggression. It feels like they are able to just do what they want at times. And it's nothing against Point Park as much as they are just flying around the map. Menace now 21 kills. And Fisher's Fischer, definitely not giving Yoshi any type of space yeah. whatsoever. Yoshi gets Yoshi. one pick and then they are on it with that trade. Absolutely. They are, they are doing a, a duoing up very well. He's just able to drop them. BB trying to get in again. Clark just trying to find one there. He does. Yoshi and Clark both get dropped. And now it's Curse just trying to find a kill there. 2v4 over on the A side. Here comes Creep trying to get around to the other side. Habibi also up. It's just as just as I said before, the brim alt slamps that forces Yoshi to go out of position and gives him no space and he dies. That's, I mean, Fisher's pressure when it comes to pushing these sites and just wide swinging, I mean, nearly everything in this game, it just goes their way. Now, Habibi just trying to find a pick onto somebody again. 4v2, bombs on A. Creep's able to find one, 2v3 now. As he's going to get flanked, unfortunately, by the Viper. Now goes down 4 to 12, your score, and what has been a very solid map for Fisher that first the defending side for them going up i believe like eight nothing i think ko or six nothing i think i would have liked to see <laughs> i think i would have liked to see a ko in here because i mean fair. the utility usage from fisher has been has been phenomenal oh, it's been everywhere. I, we can't deny it. It, it's been great they've been able to just outgun it feels like at times every single corner a lot of outgunning situations even, actually. even with menace getting taken out on that last play he was the first one that went down in the round he still the just Great plays by Fisher. They pretty much just four stacked it. We're able to avenge his death essentially. Creep knows there's one nearby. They're in showers. Clark's able to find the Viper. Habibi's been found out as it looks to be an A push here from Fisher. Will they commit to it? Yoshi trying to find somebody here. Anything at all. He sees the one trying to get anything rolling here. As here comes Curse. And now, oh, he's just on top of boxes. Fade was able to get up top there. Curse is able to trade him out. 4v3. Point Park has the man advantage. Trading is enough to be a vital fact in this. Clark gets them through. So now again, another trade. Now it's 3v2. Point Park can play the trades here as long as they come out with the win. Clark has all. He has to be careful right now. 13 health to Clark's name. They do get bomb planted. They get all the way over to B in a heartbeat. As now it's going to be Clark, Habibi, and Creep. Still remaining as now here comes Creep. He's going to get some heals into his teammate. Get him back up at least a little bit more. Here comes the smoke. Here comes the dogs. The flash comes in at the exact same time. Two get three get taken down. Where did the Grim come from? He just comes down the, the hallway. Sky. Instantly sky drops blind. in. 14 to three. Point Park loses map one. And I mean, I Fisher College, the aggression, the swings, everything. Oh, they are just they that's were, they everything were playing, went their way. Like, everything just seemed everything to go their, just went way. their way. That everything. Was, that was tough. It was um, a tough fight through and through. Menace was, well, he was a menace. I mean, <laughs> Raze was true. just a menace when it came to everything. Was ego challenging every single oh, fight. Didn't feel like he could be just any way opposed. And when he did, his teammates were able to just instantly turn around, pick him up. Fisher's potential be, when I it mean, came when it comes to gunfights, they, they definitely, they definitely play as if they know that they, they know that they're better. They play as if they know that they, that yeah, we're gonna win these fights. I have a judge. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna push them, the and swagger. it's gonna work. Yeah, the, the swagger. swagger. Is I mean, the finesse there. from Menace. I mean, as much as I hate to say it, when he would do the 360 no scopes and stuff. I mean, great utility usage, especially with the boom bot. Yes. Oh my gosh! And the grenade he was man. able to find a couple of picks off of that alone. I believe he had about six kills off a of util alone. Yeah. It felt like, and that's not including his ult. Yeah. Um, 
it was, and I feel like we only saw his ult get used like two times, which is really odd. Um, I might have missed that, of course, but I remember it was like round four, he was able to drop two with his ult, and I didn't mm -hmm. really see it past that. Yeah. So it was something where, unfortunately for Point Park, they just weren't able to... They were able to bounce back. They just weren't able to bounce back. I mean, after that, when they went down 6-0, unfortunately... I mean, that econ was rough during that time span. But you then again, you Fisher... weren't able to win those first pistol rounds, and it just... It, it didn't feel like Fisher was defending when they were on the no. defender side. It felt like it was just, okay, this is attacker v. attacker. It is a, we don't care that if you full buy, and we don't care if you don't buy. We're going to... We're going to push we're, you no matter yeah, what. Yeah, we're going to push you no matter what. And even whenever Point Park would get that first pick, Creep would find somebody, Yoshi would find somebody. Fast it with felt trades. Like fast, fast with the trades. Fisher, even, even on, on the attacking side... Fisher was just, again, three stacking all the way through. Mm. Again, tip of the spear just stabbed right through. Even whenever the tip would break, it would still just mm. go through, it felt like. So it was something where Fisher was just able to play that a very, very aggressive style. Coach is probably Coach Gull's probably talking with the team right now saying, like, hey, guys, you know they're going to play aggressive on that. Unfortunately, it's just something where you probably – you really can't defend against Well, them. now it's time for Clark's Omen. It's, yes. it's definitely time <laughs> – We'll for see what happens here with Creeps this. KO. Yes. Uh, I think I think if we go KO there, different. It different could game. have been. Different outcome. I think it's definitely it's something somewhere. where Clark's Omen with the blind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to three stack. I dare you to. Like, come <laughs> on, yo. Like I, I feel like it was definitely something where Fisher did try and mess around a little too much at times. It did definitely. cost them at times, which was a big thing. That did help Point Park side. Creep trying to keep the vibes up. He definitely helped there at times. He definitely made some good plays. The gunny was there at times. It was just, unfortunately, just, again, Fisher making smart attacking plays. We're able to just mm. get the swing somehow, like, just such an aggressive just push just out. It almost everything. felt like they were running and gunning at times. Sky's timing. Oh, it was gorgeous. With swinging, it was I mean, amazing. Oh, my gracious. It, it was stuff that... Like, it, like, in that final round there, we even saw it instantaneously that Sky was able to get that flash out the minute that everybody was about to go through that doorway. And by as then, soon as the Grim was able to find out, all three. Hit the flash, and it was it. That was it. And unfortunately for Point Park, it ended up costing them there on that round. So first map goes down 13-4. to four. Bind goes in favor of Fisher. We did hear previously that Fisher, well, to be fair, just cleaned Clemson out, I believe. If I was correct, I think the two scores between those two matches were 13-4 to four and 13-6, to six, oh if gosh. I am correct. So oh Clemson was also struggling against this Fisher team. So this is a group that, well, they're, they're dangerous. <laughs> they yeah. are very, very dangerous, and we are seeing that here today. Um, I want to see a nice box. I, I, I would love to see, see a nice box. I want to see a cent. I think Bind, Bind, Bind went in Fisher's favor, but I think if we – if Point Park goes – just a different map. I, I want to see what the outcome is with a different map and some different different characters that as well. That is fair. It'll be interesting to see what next map pick will be here. We'll have that here in a moment. Uh, the teams are just kind of discussing. I think, again, Coach Gull is probably just talking to his team, just telling them, hey, guys, like, keep you, your got, head in the you game. got pushed. Yeah, just keep your head in the yeah. game. Creep was doing a, g a good job of trying to keep his team, like, hyped up, trying to keep them under control. Yeah. Yoshi, always keeping his cool for the most part. I think it's going to be something where he's just telling them, like, hey, guys, like, they play that extreme aggression. We just got to find a way to bounce back on that, anti that stuff. Just try and keep it from really, really getting to your head. Even because while Fisher was playing so well, Yoshi, I believe, at the end of the game, still had He was still 18. positive. I yeah, believe so. Still, still 18 and 11. He still had at least so, 16, I think, the bare minimum. Yeah. So it's definitely something where it's not like they were out getting outgunned every single time. And Yoshi was able to find picks. Creep, I think, also went positive there. Um it was just an unfortunate First and Clark matter. definitely struggled when it came Clark, to gunfights. Clark was able to win some of those very important gunfights, yeah, but from a KD perspective, it definitely looked a little rough for them there. Mm. It's nothing that I think either of them really could have done, unfortunately. I mean, Kirst was playing in the initiator, running that just fade, trying happens. to find something. Yeah. That fade on fade was just something that just kept hitting it. Felt yeah, like. I mean, we definitely. saw that during the one round where fade, fade on fade and the raise on raise. Rushing. Exactly. It's hard. It it's just and tough. the brim as well, actually. The brim was playing, I mean, as we said, he closed out the game with three kills. Yeah, and the, those round. three were the big ones. It felt like Viper, that Viper for uh, Fisher was very good at keeping, yeah. like, shower, always keeping that lane clogged, was not able to let any form of Point Park player run through without getting damaged of any sort, and just kept them from really getting a very good push, it felt like. Came in, I mean, you came in, can, how Fisher played, couldn't even contest it with that no. Viper. The Couldn't Viper even. was just playing perfectly with how the setup was, being able to keep that so... Especially that one way in mid. Oh, my yes, gosh. Yes, exactly. Disgusting. It was Absolutely a way that disgusting. was just very difficult for Point Park to find any form of way. And it, it felt like the other thing as well is that Point Park was very committed 
to their points. They didn't really rotate very often, it felt no. like, on the attacking side. Uh, whenever they committed to A, they were committed to A. They would didn't wait until the last 30 seconds until they were going to make a push. And even by then, just no rotate through it. But then like. again, Fisher didn't give them a chance to make those decisions. No. That's something about Fisher's, Fisher's style of gameplay that makes them very unique is that once something, once something didn't work for Point Park, instead of waiting like a minute, be like, okay, we're going to play site and just see what they do. Fish was like, okay, they don't know what to do. <laughs> Push them. Like yeah. they're trying, they're, they're trying to make this. It's, it's as if they knew that, okay, Point Park is trying to figure out the decision right now. It interrupt that decision. Yes. Literally. It was something where like, where in most pro scenes or even just most games like that of any sort, it feels like both teams really just kind of, I don't want to say stall out, but they kind of wait. They, they wait. give a second to mm -hmm. think, one side's trying to discover, hey, what are they thinking right now? The other side is saying, hey, what are we going to do with this? Yeah. They, as in Fisher, were just like, okay, they're trying to come up with an idea now. Mess body up the idea. Body don't body even up. let yes. them. Don't even let them have an idea. And it was something just... where they just, again, that very like sporadic, very just aggressive style. And I think it's something that I think a lot of teams are probably struggling with against them as well. I mean, Definitely. again, I mentioned before with Clemson, uh, they were able to beat Clemson pretty handily in both matches. I don't know if those are both very correct scores, but I know that they it was a single digits for both games against Clemson. Um, so and Clemson is a very solid and Clemson team. was a very solid team as we saw. So going to be here in a moment. We're going to get our map picks and we'll see our ops here in a three seconds. Uh, just give us a couple of moments, of course, as we're still trying to get the picks through. Um, All right, let's go, man. Let's bounce back. Yeah, <laughs> I'm ready to bounce back. We got to see if we can bounce back. back. The they game, can do man. it. They can definitely do it at this point. Uh, we've seen it. We saw it before. So Ascent will be the oh, yeah. map. Oh, yeah. No, put me in. Put me in. <laughs> put my boys in. Ricky Bobby. I'm ready for that. Ricky Bobby about to cop into Ascent this Ascent is our map, yo. <laughs> Ascent's our map. Ascent and Icebox, see us in there. I dare you. Literally. So, Point Park's going to get a little bit of favor, I think, here from this side. We'll see how Fisher plays this because I'm not. we don't know what Fisher's like on this map. Again, we Definitely. have no VODs really from Fisher, it felt like. They didn't really put any information out there. Maybe it's planned. Maybe they planned that. I'm Maybe. Sure. It might have been. They, that, they might have been planning that. Either way. Um, this is definitely a map that we feel like we are favored in a little bit more. Comfortable, um, definitely. Yes, we're definitely comfortable with that type of thing. So we'll see how this works. And I'm, I'm a little worried, though, as Trying well. Trying to see a Stoba with an Odin on B. You know what I'm saying? Wall bang instantly. Don't even come <laughs> through. Don't even contest. The thing is, well, with this map is that this was map three against Clemson. Unfortunately, we fell 11-3 to three to them uh, that was two all weeks luck. ago. I don't want to <laughs> let that go. So here we go. Yoshi running the, running the fade. Omen with the clock. Yoshi Omen with the Clark. fade? Oh, okay. So, we, uh, but I, they have this the is an interesting set Fisher with the Killjoy, kill which I, I feel like that's a pick that I I actually favor that one in all honesty. It's someone I haven't seen it all. Very good on the set. Yes, exactly. Very, very all players. I remember is X set, I believe it was versus Optic in Worlds, uh, was the map where Killjoy was. Or no, it was a Fun Plus, I think, against X set. Yes, it was, um, where Killjoy was definitely a big factor in that as well. So as no, we said, both no teams on KO. No, no duelists here for Point Park. So fade for Yoshi. Cursed will be running the Soba. Clark running the Omen as we predicted. Habibi sticking with the Chamber pick and Creep now running that ever so dangerous KO. I'm loving this. I'm, I'm, Menace I'm loving is running this the jet now this time. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see some fairly aggressive plays here. Is Point fade Park and Soba. That's a lot again? of info. That is mm -hmm. a lot of info that you can get from Fade and Fade and um, Soba in general. And here we go. So mid push already, and Menace again just trying to get the plays. A trade out, Yoshi and Creep get, or Creep gets dropped. Yoshi's able to trade though. Four v four right off the rip, and here comes the A push from Point Park. And just again, now here's who here's here's Point Park trying to be the aggressive side. It's now the bot. Oh boy, here comes Clark. He tries to play a little too aggressive there. Habibi gets dropped by the KO now. Four v one as Curse gets dropped by the Jet. Jet just trying to ego. Yoshi finds him now. Goes down 1-0 right in the lane again for Fisher playing that aggressive style. The Killjoy. That was some interest. That was an interesting setup because it was. it's almost as if I mean usually when you're pushing A, you want to go and and shut that door down yes. instantly. You yes. want to have that door closed off so you have complete sight. And with KJ setup. It didn't really allow that yes. because the setup was literally on the switch of the door. Killjoy was able to get that switched out and just instantly took out whoever went for the door. I believe that was Clark. I'm not sure who it was that got taken out first there. I think it was him. And just unfortunately, it, it ended up costing there. Is Creep going to instantly come for a jet trying to make the ego chow? 
and instantly does. The Bucky finds him, and Curse just trying to see if he can trade him out. The fire is just coming through. Trades on trades on trades. I'm not even sure what just happened there. And now here comes the next. Clark gets taken out by the Menace, and 2-0 already. Again, aggression, aggression, aggression. They just read Point Park there, it felt like. Spencer they were all beef. Confident. Very Everybody confident. was beef. It, they literally read them. I don't understand how they just instantly knew it felt like. Instantly, Jet peeks the window, instantly finds something. Hey, pulls out the Bucky and just, from what felt like 20 meters away, was able to dome. I believe that was Yoshi who came out there. It is a one shot with the Bucky. If you, um, oh, if it's yeah. 15 meters and you hold that angle, it whoever was... gets in there, no shields, that's one shot. Yeah. So now, two set up here for B and three on A for Point Park. They're just trying to see if they can bounce back after the double pistol rounds go down for them. Looks like a buy in from Creepy. Does find the omen on the backside. Again, Habibi taken down by the Bucky. Shotgun has just been the pain in the butt for Point Park tonight. Yoshi and Curse find two, though. Menace gets taken down finally. Omen on Omen crime. Clark gets taken. Now 3v3. Cursed finds the fade, though, so now 3v2. Going towards A, Creep flashes out, trying to find somebody, anybody. It all Omen finds Creep, though, hits the heads, trying to get the trade. He does Cursed 1v1. You definitely don't want to don't want to let that Omen get two kills, especially with a Bulldog. That's It was a tough hard. fight. He finds both heads on those shots as well. It was just unfortunate circumstance for Point Park. He gets the headshots instantaneously. Cursed just trying to find this killjoy. Cursed with full on the utility. Does have the full util. He's got his drone, the shock darts, and his bolt. He's gonna make a rotate over towards B. He sees the drone, or he sees the turret. Very smart. Curse sees that the turret's down, so KJ is definitely not on the site. So now comes towards that B side. Now we know the killjoy is gonna be trying to come through. See if he can find Curse. Curse is gonna get hit by the turret. I. Okay, I thought he had taken it down. He didn't, and he got another shot hit against him. So now 62 health. Just trying to find the Killjoy. Killjoy, we don't know where she is on the map. Unfortunately, we don't have that perspective from Fisher, but she's on the run. I'd love to see some util use. I mean, have the I think dart, he's going to work the drone. Here. It's... I think he's waiting here just a second, just seeing. I think he did see him on the right there. I think that was a body if I saw it correctly. Yes, it was. Oh. And oh, unfortunately, Killjoy just finds him, just gets the head. I oh, he didn't get the head, but he did hit him there, unfortunately. Cursed. I thought I saw the little yellow jacket on the right side. Definitely. He just was there, and he got the pings from his teammates, but by then, unfortunately, just the good shots from Killjoy, 3-0 in favor of Fisher. I, I can't seem to let it go, but full util, at rounds like that, you, you can't let those rounds slip up. Point Park has to, those rounds should be, they should be winnable. They, they should be absolutely winnable. When you have the drone, have the shock darts. I think the reason, I think the reason Curse didn't pull stop, those unlocking. out was due to the fact that he was just trying not to get, like, especially when you're on drone, where the team, where, like, Killjoy could have been on his side this and fair, possibly yeah. pushed him. I think that was the main reason why he didn't use the util. I think he was waiting a little bit longer. Killjoy made the push, and by then, he just didn't have the time to use it. So Creep doesn't find anybody with a knife. A mid-push here for Point Park. 3-0 the score. Fisher ahead. Oh, there's the op. Yoshi trying to see if he can get a peek here. I believe that's going to be Menace with the op. And, oh, she pulls out the ult, trying to hit her there. Finds Creep, 4v5. Alt from Jet, the Menace, and he finds another. The alt's still going through. And the finds Menace is doing whatever he wants. Cursed is able to get the trade out, though, for his BB gets taken down. Omen finds the next two, and just like that, 4-0 the score. Fisher, again, aggression. Menace pulls out the alt from Jet, hits the knife throws, gets three before Cursed is able to find him. Timeout, Point Park. I mean, Menace is single-handedly making... He's making so much space. It's almost as if I'm playing League and I'm fed with set. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, I'm going to 1v5 and you guys can just clean up when I'm done. To anybody who doesn't understand League, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's, 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 that's. <laughs> no, that's nothing against you, but just like, let's be real here. Most people probably don't understand the that's League fair. rules as much. But either way, it just feels like Menace has been able to just create this open space every time. He's just able presence. to find kill after kill after kill. Again, it just he made a full-on just straight push towards Curse. If Curse didn't have the Sheriff, I, that would have probably been deep trouble for him, I felt like. And it would have been a tough play. with Menace, as soon as he got the ult, it's not like, okay, I have ult. Maybe we can use this in another round. No. Menace was like, okay, I have ult. I'm taking over now. Yeah. Just... I, I'm not sure if he had the if it was a marshal or the op. It looked like an op shot. We Again, we don't have the audio, unfortunately, to be able to tell you if it was an op or a marshal. But we saw the sniper round go through. Mm -hmm. And next thing you knew, Jet just pulled out the ult and said, ah, don't worry about it. If I miss my shot, I'll just go ahead and... Make something work. Fisher just doesn't care. Exactly. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter what Eight and three from Menace use, already. They just do it. And Yoshi and Curse, the only ones with kills right now, unfortunately, for Point Park is 
Again, the util or the util, the econ Gator and Menace looking are looking very, very strong right now. Absolutely, they've been the big thing. They've been the big two here for Fisher. So I think we're having a bit of a moment here. Still in pause. As I think they're still in a bit of a timeout for Point Park. I'm not sure what's going on here just yet. Um, I think we're having a bit of a technical difficulty for mm. a second. Um, either way. Fisher again, the aggression is something. It's it's something. It's like being hit by Mike Tyson, honestly, on the jaw. Like he just comes in I've flying, never seen it. instantly, just hits you right on the jaw. You don't really have a way of reacting because if you try and guard, he can just try and hit you from mm. the side. If you don't try and guard, he's just going to hit you on the jaw again. And unfortunately, that's the thing with Point Park right now is they're trying to defend, and they're just getting hit in the sides. And then when they to try and block down to the sides, he just comes up, hits you right in the jaw again. I've never, I've never seen such just such an aggressive play style that works to where it's so aggressive. It's where it's just it's stuff that you can do, and also, I think this is very gunfight heavy. Yes, it definitely has been. Techn okay, so we do have a technical pause currently. Um, Point Park's having a bit of a moment here, as we're just going to take a second um, to fix some issues. Again, now the score I believe is four nothing in favor of Fisher. Again, the aggression showing up here on ascent. Same thing happened on Bind. They we're going to be seeing an op soon. I it we're, probably we're gonna will see be an op soon. Probably, probably for menace. Will be. It probably, probably will be menace. Um, but at the moment. Um, Point Park down again. As we mentioned before, Fisher, well, to put it lightly, kind of swiped the floor away with Clemson there. Uh, if I was correct, I don't know if it's 100% correct, but I believe it was 13-4, to 13-6. It was single digit at least for Clemson in the two games that they played against That's Fisher. the reason why they're first seed. They are the first seed of our three-seed group. They are top 15 along with the other team that is in this group with Fisher. Um, I did make a little bit of a look towards um, their rosters before game time. And, I mean, they, they have a giant eSports program. Fisher College, an NAIA school, the same level as Point Park. Mm. A bit bigger than what Point Park is. Of course, we are only a 4,000-student school. But, Massive. But, <laughs> All right. <laughs> but... It's something where their esports program is massive, it looks like. Yeah. Just doing a little bit of research for on them, they have teams of all sorts. They have Overwatch, Valorant, Call of Duty, uh, Smash Bros, all these other games that they've been able to play. And it's a beautiful again, thing to see. Too. It's a beautiful thing to see. College esports is something that... Six I've, years ago, you would have never even no, imagined to go to school no. to play games. Even it's here beautiful. at Point Park, only whenever I was here as a freshman, all we had was a video game club. My <laughs> sophomore year, which would have been like three years ago, the esports <laughs> team itself, like the esports oh, program. I don't say that. I feel created. old. <laughs> I feel old. The, the, the esports, How do you think I feel? <laughs> the, the esports program started when I was a, when I was a freshman. Yeah. I was, oh. So it's definitely something where it's a good thing to see where all these other programs are able to develop these college programs of all sort, whether it's any form of game, whether it's mm. League, whether it's Valorant, whether yep. it's Call of Duty, Smash Bros, Overwatch, whatever the heck, Rocket League, obviously, with our teams here. Um, it's a beautiful thing to see because even four years ago, all we had here at Point Park was our club, which only mostly held Mario Kart tournaments. <laughs> so it was something... More of a party where, thing. It was know? more of a party thing yeah. versus now where we actually have a competitive scene. In my opinion, I love the competitive scene of video games. Yes. Maybe maybe I have an issue, you know? Maybe I'm a little... I, I get a bit too invested. <laughs> Might be the reason why I don't get assignments done. No, but, hey, is... we'll leave that... <laughs> well, that's... that's uh... That's for, another conversation for another time. Another exactly. Day, you know? yeah. So it's definitely something where it's nice to see, especially for Fisher College. They have such a big esports program, it mm. feels like. Uh, we saw other schools that we've faced off against now this year as well. Yeah. Rocket League, it was Shindoa College um, or Shindoa University. I'm not sure which one it was. Either way, uh, they have their Penn collaboration. State. Penn State. They have the collaboration with the Washington Justice, the Overwatch yep. 2 team, um, which is something that's very awesome to see. Uh, Huge, us. actually. Exactly. So, like, seeing that kind of stuff is really nice to see. So we're back, Let's to, get the back to it, man. Man, come on. And just like come that, back. making a full A push here. Creep trying to find somebody. Gets taken down by the op. Well, there's the op. You made the point. Cursed able to find Menace, though. Four okay, AJ four. with the op. I would have never thought that. Killjoy trying to find something there. It's now, again, looking towards that A side. They pushed back from the attacker. Maybe I think they were trying to make you fake off that push over towards B, that rotate. Now Yoshi trying to make the push through. Pulls out the fade. Will he use his ult? He does have it available. He will. He's going to make the full push in, and unfortunately, fade on fade. Crime Clark's able to trade him out, though. Killjoy with the op gets taken down 3v3. Oh, and the flank here from the KO. He's in the back of their spawns. 3v2. Cursed and Habibi, the last ones remaining, Curse laying down the util, trying to just stay alive. Habibi trying to keep that back sight, making sure the KO doesn't push. BB just trying to keep an eye, making sure the KO doesn't get through. Fate tries to find something there, still 3v2. 
The Fade tries to push again, just laying down the fire. Curse trying to get the flank. He does. He gets the trade, though. As again, the Omen was able to find him from the doorway, I believe. 1v2. KO still in the back of spawns. Habibi just trying to play in the smoke, trying not to get flanked here is also not sure where the omen's at. He does find him, but omen just finds the head. He tries to crouch, gets knocked out. It's very tough because Cursed found C Curse found the fate first. Oh, we did. But ended up whiffing, unfortunately, and that might have been the pick that could have dictated that entire round. Omen was just able to find him. It, it fell almost instantaneously that those trades came through. Again, Fisher's, Fisher's done an excellent job at unreal. getting that. And just like, it's something where it's very difficult for Point Park to even just try and hold on to a single kill. They were able to, whenever Point Park gets the first kill, they get traded out, it feels like at times. But at the same point, when they have the man advantage and they're able to get those trades, it works out. But it's it that just buddy system. Now it looks to be another split set here, and Menace just again, full push. Yoshi gets taken down. Trades come through. Creep finds one. The They're just swinging. Clark gets taken down again. The swings just keep coming. Swing bat about a swing. Curse gets taken down again. 1v4. Creep is on his own, and attacker spawn. I mean, Fisher is just so, like... They're so calm. They don't even use Yuta, Yuta at the beginning of the round. They just swing. They just know. Creep finds I'm one win there. This. 1v3. Here comes Menace trying to find him. He's all the way in the back of attacker spawn. There comes the up. Again, again, point park goes down. Six, nothing your score. It's looking a lot like bind right now, unfortunately. Oh, I want to make an anime reference so bad, but Go for, for professional reasons. No. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> Now six to nothing, a repeat it's of just, unfortunately map one here. You know what? I found the word for it. Fisher's gameplay is very um is very individualistic. Yes. Kind of. Everybody Fisher, especially Gator and Menace, they're just playing for their own picks. It, it's cool if they get traded, but they're going in there Even with the, the mindset joy. of I'm going to get the kill and no one's gonna stop me. And the cursed ult comes through over on the B side. It feels like it's been a mostly B push here for both sides of Point Park and Fishers. Now here comes Menace through mid. He does, does find a BB and just the, again, the weaponry not there for Point Park. The full Sheriff doesn't get it through. The Vandals just laying down fire. And unfortunately, there it goes. A flawless round for Fisher. 7 0. Now the score. And on a map that we felt the Point Park could definitely be able to get control on. I mean, it would be their comfort like pick. It, it yeah. doesn't, yeah. And it just feels like. This is also just Fisher's comfort pick at this point. Yeah. It, it feels like this was their map that they chose, unfortunately. it's It's been a tough fight for Point Park. Again, the econ just wasn't there, unfortunately. They were just make that full push. And, I mean, Fisher knows that they don't have the econ. It's hard for Point Park to play smart, which is that's how they love playing yes. when you have a team that doesn't give you the time to even, think to even play at all. They Absolutely. even think these plays through. It's Creep trying to make that push through. He gets taken down by the kill or by the KO, and then Menace also right behind him. He does pop the ult, but I don't know if anybody's gonna be able to get there to save him. Four or five v three right now. An absolutely it's gonna be a five v play. Habibi by finds one. Creep goes down. Habibi gets taken out on the trade though. So now a one v four again. Menace tries to come in. Yoshi finds two. There's another, and now Yoshi gets taken down. Eight to nothing. An unreal play by Fisher. It's as if they knew that they were going A. They popped the omen blind with the KO flash. I mean, I don't even know They're why. Just it. It, it, I don't I, even know why it's swung. They wrote the book. They read the chapters. They know exactly what page Point Park has taken the book out of. It's almost like they're reading their minds, it feels like, at times. I'm not sure how they're able to do it. They definitely did their homework, I'll that, tell you that. I will tell you that much at the bare minimum. Now, team in 13 and 2 is an omen. The controller coming through. That's uh, not Park looking like a controller to me. Uh, it's not a Something controller fishy. I've ever seen. <laughs> Something fishy. Creep trying to throw the Put that man on duelist. Egg. Now it looks to be another setup here. Habibi pulls out the ult. He's got the up. The Torta Force just trying to find something here. Trades come through. Creep and Clark. And here comes Menace. Oh, Creep finds it though. So now it's a 3v3. Curse gets taken down. Or Curse finds the 10. And then gets taken down. Habibi gets taken down by the op. 1v2. Creep once again on his own at attacker spawn. A minute 15 to go. He knows that there is the op from the Killjoy. He's trying to find the omen here. And there it is. The Killjoy finds him. He just trades turns off into the a death Vandal. match. Nine to nothing now your score. It I mean, feels that's, that's like Deathmatch. It, yeah, it feels, feels like Deathmatch. It doesn't feel like they're playing Search and Destroy. It feels I think, like... I think I'm watching a Call of Duty, like, early... It's insane. Like, pubs game of Search and Destroy, where it just feels like everybody's playing for kills. What's objective? I've never heard of her. And unfortunately, again, now nine to nothing. Fisher 
just rolling through. Demon 15 and 2. The eco, unreal. I, I mean, mean, yes. It's it's unfortunately just not in favor of Point Park right now. And I mean, at this point, it's just sheriffs and SMGs. Here comes again the blind here. Creep's going to back off instantaneously. He knows there's at least three over there. Again, they just read them, it feels like, on this side. The A side push. And again, Menace just sitting there. He gets traded out 4v4. The op is down now. He tries to check mid. The KO finds Habibi. Now, again, Clark finds with the Sheriff, though. Here comes the op from Yoshi. He gets taken down by Demon, though. He makes the push. Clark takes him down again. So now 2v2. It's a game of trades. This is what Absolutely. this looks like. Is that the only way... The way that Point Park is going to be able to bounce back from this is being on top of the trades. Instantly gets the plant down, though. Clark and Curse, the last two remaining. Fade trying to send through the Prowler. Curse may have a read here. Clark has the op. This could be huge. And we also have Soul Vault. They could play Bomb, hit the Soul Vault, and we're good to go. Curse getting a little antsy here. He's trying to see if he can maybe bait out the pick. Fade. Oh, it does read him, though. I wasn't sure if Fade knew. Clark's able to find one, though. That's his third of the round. He's still got the op. Oh, the shotgun from Killjoy. Able to find him underneath. He probably called him out. They knew there, unfortunately. He was stuck in a 1v2. Killjoy gets the flank perfectly. And it's very something tough I've, to play around like Something that. now I've noticed as well is that they're setting up like they know they're going to win the gunfight beforehand. Yeah, Killjoy was definitely. already on top. Imagine if the Fade lost the fight. Killjoy's on the top half. She know like it's almost like the Killjoy knew they that Fade was no going time. to win that fight. Killjoy knew that Fade was going to win the fight against Kirsten and was going to be put in a 2v1. So yep. even if Fade, aka Reese, was able to get taken down, it wasn't going to matter. Tuzi was going to come in and just take down yeah, Clark, yeah. and that's exactly what happened. They're playing almost like they know they're going to win the gunfight before they get into it. And now here we go, another A push for Point Park. They know they're at least Killjoys over here. Yoshi trying to make the push through. Menace on the flank, already an attacker spawn instantaneously. 3v4 gets taken down. Now it's again 3v4, mostly an A push here for Point Park. Creep Clark and, Cur or Creep Clark and Yoshi. Park, Park, Point Park is just shaking. They don't know if they want to take a gunfight or if they want to rotate. It's a nothing, very tough position right now. 10 to nothing your score here. Yoshi checking every corner, making sure nobody else is in these little hangers. Yoshi coming through with the ult. Creep finds one now, so 3v3. It's even straight back up. Doesn't really have much health, though, to work with. Does lay down the ult and just doesn't find him. Toozy with the up. Clark, or not Clark, excuse me. Creep is going to lay down the knife, see if he could find something here. Coming through the attack spawn. They might try and rotate here. I think they know there's at least somebody in mid. He throws the flash. Can't find anything there. They're going to make the rotate. Point Park has the Omen ult that they can use. Spike with Clark here, trying to look towards A, making sure they don't get flanked. It looks like he's going to try and get it off. Oh, Creep gets taken down. Gracious. 1v3, the timing. He does get the bomb plant down. They know he used his teleport, though, so they're going to know where he's probably towards. Towards again up top. And just there you go. He finds the KO. Now here comes another a push from Fade. He's going to lay down the smoke, trying to see if he can play his life. That little corner here still has full health. Killjoy oh, comes in and just, just circles around, finds the kill. 11 to nothing. Fisher just laying it down. And right now, I mean, you can see Aiden right now in the player cam. He's just putting his hands up. He's like, man, I don't know what else you guys are supposed to do. I mean, you're trying. You really are. And I mean, it's just been Fisher it's on the run here. It's very hard to play like this. It's very hard to try back. and compete against this kind of thing. I mean, the aggression is just through the roof. Again, it felt like Killjoy was just running and gunning there to kill Clark in the end. Fisher wants gunfights. That's what they want. And, and I think, I think personally think that Point Park needs to, uh, I think, whether stop playing for the site and, like, let's swing mid and let's try to fight these guys whenever we have guns and just see what happens. I... Fisher is playing a very 50-50 game, game style right now, the where I win the gunfight, then great, but if I don't win the gunfight, then I get traded out. So either way, it's a win-win. The 50-50 style is definitely working out. It's a dangerous right style. Now, it feels like. Now, still set up. Yoshi trying to find the guy in mid. And just the op again. Finds creep. So now 5v4. And there we go. KO is going to get... Uh, Yoshi is going to find one, though. So 4v3. KO is going to be able to find... One there now as the ult comes through from Omen. He knows there's Menace. Menace just able to bunny hop around them. Again, just a full push. 12 to nothing. Your score. Fisher. I mean, 
Well, is this really Point Park's comfort map? It feels like walking in here is just Fisher has just dominated every single corner, it feels like. I'm sad. <laughs> I feel. I, this has just been a tough fight. I'm quite sad right now. Close and I can just see the gears running through Coach Gull's head right now. He's just saying, dude, I don't know what else They're to say. They're trying to figure out. They're trying to figure out a play. I mean, Point Park down 12 to nothing now, down 1-0 in maps. And I mean, you just got to try. You got to try as hard as you can just to hold on here. So the pistol rounds will set up here. We flip sides. Point Park will be on the defensive side now. Two on A. Would not One be over through mid Fisher just... to B side. They might just go full aggression here again. There Nobody over towards A. They're going to try and make the push here. Omen going TP. And Onto Jet the with A this, side. No, this explosiveness. Fades over there towards that B side. They're all over on this B side, it feels like. You know, she's going to try and they get three taken down instantly again. Just Menace running around with a shotgun. If you just give him a buckshot, he's going to find him. Creep's able to get the headshot off, though. So 2v4. Spike gets planted on B. Flash comes in. Clark not really getting much off of that. He doinks him. He's able to get traded out, though. So now a 1v3. Creep fighting for his life. Trying to keep the game alive. Finds a headshot there. 1v2. Very 49 health to his name. He's able to find the other KO. Not to cut you off, dear sir. I apologize. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. I'm I'm, uh, I'm as speechless as probably the team is right now, to be honest. Kildra on the back of sight. Trying to find him. He can't. 13 nothing. Oh, and unfortunately for Point Park, just Fisher College. I mean, they wow. were just flexing their muscles all game long. And then Nate puts it on cam. Like, do you, like, I don't want them to see my sad face. <laughs> I don't even know why you're doing this to us. I mean, it was just Fisher, Fisher literally just flexed I'm speechless. their muscles all I game. Don't, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm very irritated by how Fisher played because it didn't seem, maybe I'm crazy and I'm just a golden valent, of course, I understand that. <laughs> but it didn't seem very team it didn't seem very team based. They played very, just very individual. Like they were, they were like, I my own. I'm gonna shine in my own way. And if my teammate trades me out, then it's whatever. But I'm gonna at least take two or one with me, no matter what. Yeah. That's just. It's a very confident play. A very like ego, egotistic full um play style. It was like how I mentioned before. It felt like where they went into every single gunfight. Acting, knowing they were going to win. Knowing they were going to win. Setting up as if they knew they were going to win the gunfight. Even if they didn't, they would have somebody else there to trade out for that fight. As I mentioned before, with how uh, Cursed and Clark were left on that B side, yep. they got the plant down. Yep. Fade, Fade knew, and so did Killjoy, knew that they were going to win that fight with Cursed on the door. I didn't even know that they knew Cursed was there. It didn't seem like they did. I yep. wonder if him baiting out with the arrow might have given away his position. But either mm. way... Fade just like instantly knew she was gonna win the fight, and then she pretty much played it so that way. Even if she lost to Clark, Killjoy was right there. But then again, there's been there's been a few rounds, um, for Cursed when that that was the second round in a row when Cursed has ultimate, has the util, but because he doesn't know where Fisher is, he's not able to not able to use that util. Where and that's that's Sova's main thing. When you have the bomb planted and you want to play that post plant, Sova is like one of your best cards to play with the post plan and be like, okay, this is a guaranteed round because we have the solo all and Fisher just didn't give Point Park a, a chance to even play the post plan. I think the big thing as well was it was interesting to see Yoshi running fade. It was an interesting piece. I think the main You know what? Yeah, there, let's talk about that. Let's that, talk about that. <laughs> that one though was to try and slow down mm. the opposing side. Because if they get called out, then they're going to assume that they're going to slow it down. The thing is, is that Fisher, even when they got it's out. all gas, no brakes. They didn't care. They would still push through. I felt like it was something where Point Park tried to set up for Ascent, acting as if if they could get the intel and as if they were got like if got the Fisher got called they out, they mm -hmm. thought they would back off. They didn't. Fisher made yeah. a full push through, and unfortunately, it's one of those things where there was times yeah, Ko got scanned. Exactly. Fisher's Ko literally got scanned. It was like. Oh, okay, well. you know where I'm at. You know where I'm at. Swing me. Like, I dare you to. I'm like, oh my gosh. And it was something where I feel like the only way you could win against a fight like that, and of course, neither side would, like, Point Park was not going to know this before going into the fight, but the of only course. way you would have known it would have been to have 
whenever you have a headbutt coming in, you got to try and headbutt back. Yeah. There's no other way to do it. You're not going to be able to redirect it. You're not going to be able to slow him down by yep. scaring him off. You're just going to have to try and I fight back. Yeah, I would have loved to see. Tough. I would have loved to see some fight him out. Instead of playing very slow, I would have loved to see. Okay, they're playing aggressive. We're gonna have to take these 50-50 fights, and we're just gonna have to rely on our trading. Yes. Clearly, Fisher's trading. They they practice this. I I I I can tell that they've practiced their trading. They 100% to where they. they they know that okay, you're gonna swing out. I'm gonna swing out with you, and I'll catch the trade for you. And I think the big thing as well is that and um, menace. Oh my gosh, he was f- oh flying gosh, around was... the map. It felt like at times. If that again, give the man buckshot, and it felt like he could at least find one or two at the mm. very minimum. Every single life he had. For some reason, he found the pick with the sword off. Exactly. And I think in the um, in the twelfth round, I believe, Jet. Goes in there instantly. He's on site instantly. We had Point Park had someone on the site, and the Jets somehow did not die. Somehow stayed alive. I'm not sure if maybe it was. Not just, sure what happened there. I'm not sure if maybe it was maybe it was miscommunication. I doubt that, but maybe it was just also Jet being able to just outmaneuver possibly or just find something. I'm not entirely sure. Of course, we didn't have like the con. We didn't have comms or the audio really in game for us to be able to know what was going on entirely, and we yes. didn't. We didn't also really have. Um, Fisher's side to see, so we don't know all of the information, mm. uh, so I don't want to make assumptions for obvious course, reasons, yeah. but it was also just something where it felt like every single time, again, Fisher was just playing that always going in head of the spear, Menace would go through, or not even Menace half the time it felt like, even Demon would just go Gator through. Gator kind of, yeah, yeah, exactly. Demon, Demon would go through. He kind of took over that game. Both, si- both of those players would go through, tip of the spear, just break through, and even mm. if they got broken off, Yep. You still had the rest of it still just coming through and just yep. plunged through the rest of the Point Park side, unfortunately. Yeah. So it's something where Point Park was just not able to really keep that fight. They weren't able to break the spear in half. They just broke the tip, and then it just got plunged through them nonetheless, unfortunately. Uh-huh. So Point Park does fall 2-0 Felt map like total. I believe it was 13-6 to on map 1, and I believe it was 13-0 map 2. So we've seen two 13-0s now. Uh, unfortunately... Yeah. One and oh, one when it comes on. to point per Yeah, on one that. and one. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know how that happens. I didn't expect to see a 13 0 ever in a comp scene, and yet yeah. we've seen it twice now in three weeks. But, but besides then that, again, I wouldn't have expected someone to be 360 no scoping and trying to get a knife kill, <laughs> and that <laughs> team wrong. ends up winning. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it, it was. was um, it was something where Fisher came in with confidence. I think after the Clemson game. Came in with a lot of playfulness. They, yeah. they, they, they kind of knew what they were doing, and they had a little bit of fun with it, which. Yeah. Was so. Fun. With this being said, that's the final game for our play-ins. Unfortunately, Point Park goes down to 0-2 in play-ins as well. They fall to Clemson to one in map game one two weeks ago, two yep. weeks ago, and they will fall today to Fisher 0 and 2. So still they still have still, a game. They go through the Fisher play-ins. They'll go 0 and 2. They'll get placed into our bracket. We'll have an opponent and a time set up on our social medias later this week. Yep. Um, we don't have the information just yet now, as other teams are still playing through their matches, but we will get placed into the bracket. Um, so that will be coming out shortly. We'll have more information for you whenever we get it. Uh, we just don't have it right in front of us right now, unfortunately. But um, it'll be interesting to see who we get matched up as, as well. Unfortunately, going Coming down... Coming with a vengeance. Going, I know that. <laughs> absolutely. I know that. I saw a little I, bit of Yossi's Fury and um, Bind. I think it's going to be something where this team is not going to be one that's going to take this and just put their heads down. And Definitely just a wake-up call. Yeah, I think Definitely. it's going to be. I think it's going to be something where... This team is not one to just put their heads down, tail mm. between their legs, and just kind of go off into the sunset without worrying about it. They are going to put on their gloves, and they are going to try and fight out through these next Would few not rounds. be surprised if I would saw the entire team on Monday, all day, doing their thing. So. I, would not be, I wouldn't be surprised if they stay after this game on. <laughs> I, I already true. know for a fact very that true. Kareep and Yoshi will probably be oh, here yeah, until after sure. the league team for is sure. done practicing here tonight, which will probably be after dark. So, either way... Um, Again, once again, for anybody that just, like, is tuning in or anything like that, 2-0, Point Park goes down, unfortunately, 13. I believe it was to 6. I don't know if that's the correct score um, for map 1, 13-0, and 0, map 2. Fisher defeats us um, in what was probably one of the most aggressive play styles we will ever see I've ever never seen in a it. game I don't even ever. see I, I haven't even seen that in pro play. Like I've in, never in seen B, something like BCT, that. In BCT, in, like, Tournament of Berlin. Even. Like, I, I have... I haven't seen that type of gameplay, so I'm I'm very intrigued with it though, because it somehow worked. It, it's very gunfight based, in my opinion. But it's it's going to be something where worked, so. um I want to see Fisher go up against a team that's also very 
gunfight like and yeah. see how that kind of fight you know, how that style goes. Definitely. That'll be interesting to see. It definitely um, sort of um, I it definitely sort of I, I hate to say this, but it definitely sort of rank uh felt like a rank difference to yes. where it felt like some some of our Plain Park players were hanging with them in gunfights, but then others were just they were just getting absolutely outgunned, unfortunately. And I think it was a matter of as well just how these Fisher players were just able to swing. Again, it felt like they were almost running and gunning. It no, that like was, was ridiculous. It felt like they were literally just running and gunning. It Why like, swinging everything with exactly. no matter what gun that you have and winning it? Um, it was. It's just unreal, it like. honestly. It was something where it just felt like every single gunfight they would wide swing and just instantly hit head, and it mm. just like. No matter what, I don't know what type of aim labs, aim labs training you guys are doing, but I need to on in on that, please. Yeah, please. I, need <laughs> I need that. I need that, my guy. I need that. <laughs> but regardless, though, we will have the info on um on Point Park's next Valorant game. Please stay tuned and show your support. We're coming back with a vengeance, of course. I believe in my boys. So, Absolutely. Um, yeah. So yeah, next next Saturday, time. we'll have a time for you guys. Eventually, we'll get placed into our bracket. You'll find out more on social media. Yeah. I believe that is all for us here today. So thank you, everyone, again for watching today's game. Uh, we'll be back again next Saturday. We love Saturday. your support. We love the support. Thank you, everyone, Bye. for watching. We'll still have some more games. Uh, we'll see you all next time. Thank you. Peace.